Hey, what's up guys? Today I have a review of the Kong's Design Yu Ying, which can be purchased from the cubicle.us for only $15. This puzzle is the first puzzle from Kong's Design, which is a new brand that is kind of centered around MoYu. It is a follow-up from the Li Ying slash Huan Ying. So it kind of has, it keeps the smooth but crunchy feeling that both of those have. However, first off, looking at these stickers, they are very nice shades. They appear to be half brights with a nice bright blue. And the logo is an onion. I'm not really sure the reasoning behind that, but people kindly informed me that this was in fact an onion during my unboxing. So as I said, this cube is a follow-up of the Li Ying slash Wan Ying, and it maintains that sort of smooth but crispy feel that those cubes have. When I first tried out this cube, I wasn't really a fan of the feeling. However, it kind of grew on me because it was such a smooth puzzle and it's quite fast, which is something that I enjoy. The corner cutting on this puzzle is around 45. It can't really go more than that without me thinking that's going to like pop on me. And then the reverse is over half a piece, which is pretty good. One issue that I've had with this puzzle is that it does pop on me, which is originally why I stopped using it. It could be that my tensions are quite loose, or it could be simply that the mechanism allows for easy popping. Even though it has these pieces here, it still easily can be popped out, as you can see right here. It detaches from there, making it easy to pop out. Diving into the pieces a little bit more, we can see that it has these tracks on the edge pieces. as well as these wings that I pointed out earlier. And the corner piece is nothing real special, although it does have these hollowed out areas, which surprisingly haven't really caused too many locking issues for me. As I just alluded to, there really hasn't been many locking issues. The cube turns very fluidly for me and really hasn't had many issues other than the fact that it pops. Overall, I would definitely recommend this puzzle to people who enjoyed the Li Ying. I currently use the Li Ying as my main, and I find this cube to be very enjoyable to solve. The only issue it really seems to have for me is the fact that it pops. It could just be because of my tensions, which is why it pops so much for me, or it could be because of the mechanism of the puzzle. Either way, it may not pop like it does for me on everyone. So I would highly, highly recommend you get it. So if you'd like to purchase this, I will link you in the description to the cubicle.us, where it is only $15, like I said before. Overall, this is a very good cube, and if you would like to see how it performs during solves, continue to watch this because I'm going to insert solves now. Up in white, birds smile.